You never want to fall in love with the first idea you come up with. And the biggest problem today when people come up with something, they want somebody else to do it. Uh, they, they, they want somebody else to make it, and uh, all they want to do is cash the checks. Murray Butler said there's a few people in this world that make things happen. There's a larger number that watch thing happen, things happen, but the overwhelming majority doesn't know what's happening. And they just, they don't make things happen. When you do, you will find out, hmm, I thought it would do this, and it did this. And now you may run across a solution looking for another problem. You see, we're so in tune with coming up with solutions for problems, but we don't ever think about coming up with solutions looking for a problem. When the laser was invented, it was a solution looking for a problem. Lord knows we got all kind of problems for it today. But it was a solution at that time looking for a problem. And that's the value of tinkering, is we may come up with something. That's the value of making our ideas happen. We may come up with something that take us down another path. These are things that you can't find in a book. You know. My boss came to me one day and he said, we're going to hire another person. And you're a very creative person. And I said, thank you. He said, how do I find a creative person when I interview? I said, that's simple. <laughs> he said, yeah. Well, what's the answer? I said, okay. About one out of 50 will be creative. You bring them in and you talk to them and you say, now where are you working on this project and we want to do da 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 da, something that hadn't been done before. How would you approach the problem? 49 out of 50 will say, well, first thing I do is do a literature search and see what's been done. The creative guy will say, well, I would just uh, jump in and do what I think might work, and if I get stuck, then I'll see where I went wrong. When you go look at the literature 49 out of 50 times, out of the 50, the literature is going to bias you. It's going to take you down a path. Whereas if you don't go to the literature, you're going to find out on your own some valuable things. You're going to find out all kinds of things along the way. You see what I mean? That to me is education. That to me is development. When you can find solutions looking for problems and you might end up finding a solution to the problem that you started out with. That's the value of tinkering because tinkering, when you take things apart or you tinker with something, you learn and you learn how things work and how they don't. I have learned so much along the way, the hard way. The school of hard knocks can't be beat. I think I'm probably proudest of my LCD and the thermal printing because it is everywhere. No matter where you go, you're going to see LCD. And I didn't invent the LCD, Jim Ferguson did. I perfected it. I made it possible for large scale production. The thermal printing, well, first on it was for fax machines. That's the first use of it was fax machines. Right now, it's for your cash register receipts. When you go to the grocery store or any store and you buy something on that shiny paper, uh, if my eyes would not have failed me, I would be working on it today for color. I always had a dream of winning the Nobel Prize in something. I wanted to make a difference. I just, just didn't want to exist and waste my time uh, on little things, I wanted to make a, a big difference, and that was my always been my dream.